This is the intro jingle. This is the K-pop Devok Show with Eric Nam. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is ASMR, and I hate it. But that's okay. Welcome to the K-pop Devok Show. My name is Eric Nam. I'm your host, and today we have another guest. He has been patiently waiting, just nervous, just sweating, just freaking out. I don't know why. So nervous. How did I get here? Sorry, Rob. Yes. <laughs> I'm hold on to this. My name is Eric. Now I'm your host, and today we're joined by another special guest from the boys. It's Mr. Kevin. Hey, how are you? What's up? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. You want to say hello to everybody who's listening? Hi, everybody. It's Kevin from the boys. Uh, finally here with Mr. Eric Nam. Yeah, that's man, Mr. That's me. Sorry, it's okay. I'm not sensitive me. about my age at all, guys. <laughs> yes, I am. No, um, look, I, I'm I'm trying to 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 accept that I am I'm old, <laughs> um, but it's okay because age is nothing but a number. Where it your body starts to fall apart at a certain number, but it's okay. I'm fine. Anyways, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm so excited to have uh, Kevin on today, and it's been a pleasure getting to know the boys. So today, as I do with all my interviews recently, we're just gonna have a conversation, right? Didn't do too much research. It's a conversation to get to know Kevin just a little bit better. Good stuff. And um, now let's let's get to know Kevin. So Kevin, yes. Let's just start off. How are you? I'm good. Uh, very hot and humid in Korea. It is. Uh, not a huge fan of that. It's but, sticky. Yeah, sticky. And people, you know, it's things aren't drying very well. So yes. sometimes people's clothes smell very funky. Sorry, that's true, just TMI. True. That's just that's just my, that's a me issue. <laughs> I don't want to put that on other people. No, I, I feel you. We have <laughs> 11 members dancing, sweating together. Oh, oh yeah. Getting in elevators after dancing. All right. So, um, let's start here. Kevin, how do you introduce yourself? Uh, like the basic like Korean sushi go… Whatever. Oh, okay. If someone's like, hey Kevin, nice to meet you. Who are you? How do you introduce uh, yourself? On screen, I'm your Moonlight Boy, Kevin. Cause Ooh, I'm your Moonlight Boy! Because I'm Kevin Moon. Okay, that's my last name. Okay. Um, but like personally, yeah. I am the most socially awkward social butterfly. Okay. Yes. That's… You know what? I feel you on that. Yeah. I think I was the same way. <laughs> I went from socially awkward… So, social butterfly to just socially awkward. Drop the butterfly and the social. So now I'm just socially awkward. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so okay. You were born and raised where? Uh, I was born in Gwangju which is way down south in mm -hmm. Korea. And then I moved when I was four to Vancouver. Okay. Yeah. Vancouver. And you grew up there? Yes. Till when? Until 2016. Um, okay. So four years ago. Yeah. yeah. I uh, actually got into university. All right. Went for four days. Oh, you did? And then there was an audition for K-pop star. Uh -huh. I know you have experience with yeah. Liam Tanzing because my sister used to watch that. and she Oh, was, really? She's a huge fan of yours, by the way. Oh, well, hi, sister. Her name's Stella. Hi, Stella. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> you owe me. <laughs> but uh, there was a global audition for K-pop star in Seattle. Uh, went, tinkled on the piano, sing a little bit. Mm -hmm. And… Came to Korea. I honestly did not think much of it. I had my university plans set out. Okay. But then I got accepted to K-pop star. And I came to Korea. Flops on the third round. Mm. Was about to go back to university. Yeah. But then company called me up. And they were like, let's make you a K-pop star. An actual K-pop star. Yeah. Yeah. So and that was Loen. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's, that's, that's fascinating. What, what school were you… Did you attend for four days? UBC. UBC. Did yeah. you get your money back? Uh, usually they don't do refunds. Oh. They do… They keep it as like a student credit kind of thing. Oh, uh, okay. But I told them my situation. I told them I'm going to be on the American Idol of Korea. Uh -huh. Can I have my money back? And they were like, <laughs> yes. That's Got great. Got a refund. That's great. Yeah. What did you want to study in college? Um, I went into arts. Mm -hmm. uh, with the plan of being an elementary school teacher. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. What did you have? Want to have a focus in arts or? Um, psychology. Mm. Yeah, psychology. Because cool, cool, cool. I had, I've always loved music. Mm -hmm. So with psychology, I would have 
you know, kind of dabbled in music therapy. Yeah. And then… Because from what I know, you need… A, uh, I don't know the terminology. But you need like a degree before you go into education. You need like a bachelor's and then you need like a master's. Yes. And, then you need and so… Yada yada. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was the plan. Kind of going to psychology first and then going to education. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What, what was it about that that really drew you in? Why were you interested in that? Um, I think my own brain mm-hmm. thinks in cursive. Oh. That's so, so poetic. I kind of wanted to learn more. Oh. Huh. Yeah. And help people. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Um… That's really cool. So you went to college for four days. Yes. And then you're like, I'm going to go do this audition thing. Your parents, were they okay with that? My parents are the most… (laughs) Passive-aggressive tiger parents. (laughs) They forced me to do everything. Uh Uh-huh. But they didn't force me at all. Like they they let me do everything. um, And kind of let me choose whatever. Okay. And so with K-pop star… Um, they've always supported uh, my interest in music. Okay. And so even if I… Uh, even though I had the degree uh, or the… Ex- even though I went into school… Yeah. They were like, you know, whatever. Just go for it. Didn't expect much. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. That's cool. They were That's supportive. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. So you have passive-aggressive tiger parents. Yes. That sounds… That sounds to me like um, they just tricked you into doing everything that they wanted. This is reverse Daddy. psychology, <laughs> right? That's what it seems like. That's one way to put it. No, but uh, they let they really did let me do it, anything I wanted. Mm-hmm. But they always gave me the initial push. Okay. Yeah. But That's cool. Yeah. Ultimately, the choice was always mine. Yeah. Sweet. What was life like in Vancouver for you? Ah, <sighs> lots of nature. Lots of bears. Bears? We had a lockdown because there was a bear within school grounds. Oh. So we couldn't go home for like two hours. That's scary. But they don't bother you if you don't bother them. True. So yeah. Be nice to your bear neighbors. Yes. Um, Vancouver is like very beautiful and it seems like a nice place to live. It is. Right? Do you miss it? Very. Yeah. Very much so. What was the transition like for you coming from Vancouver to… A city like Seoul where everything's… It's, I mean it's just very different in so yeah. many ways. What was that transition for you? The first thing I noticed… Like the lights. Mm. So bright. Yeah. There is something about the light bulbs in Korea. Maybe the wattage is different. It's just yeah. so bright. It, very That's true. the first thing I noticed. Um, but yeah. Like in Canada… Even if… Like when you bump into someone… Mm. You apologize to each other. Like <laughs> both people apologize… But in Korea, it's so compact uh-huh. and so busy right. that people just pass you by. And it's just like whatever. Yeah. People just go over over it. But that was kind of a culture shock for me. Yeah. yeah. It's that city, city life. Yeah. Um, I mean, Vancouver has quite a number of, I feel like, K-pop people coming from Vancouver, yes. right? Who else is there? There's you. There's… Is Henry? Henry is, right? I think he's Toronto. Oh, yeah. Henry's Toronto? Okay. Same with… Wendy from Red Velvet. She's Toronto. Oh, Wendy's Canadian? Yeah. What? Surprise. She studied there for a bit? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Who's, who else is from Vancouver? There's Tablo Zambanim. Oh, right. Yeah. Tablo is Vancouver. And also Mark Zambanim from NCT. Uh, okay, 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 okay. <sighs> that's, a, that's a good yeah. number of Canadians. I don't know what it is. Canadians got a lot of music people. Like, what's up? What like Bieber, Mendez, Avril Lavigne? She was a skater, but sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fun fact: Michael Bublé. Oh uh, yes, I went to his elementary school. Oh, you did? Yeah. And there's a Michael Bublé award they give out to like really? the most uh, musically potential. Did leadership. you get it? I did. Oh! And I went back on vacation uh, recently, or not recently? Last winter. Uh huh. I gave them a signed The Boys poster, and they put it up next to. Michael That's Bublé's platinum amazing. record. That's like, amazing. I have succeeded. You've made it. I made it. Yo, um, we had Denise on the other day. Oh, and yeah. She was saying she went to the same high school as Beyonce. And I was like, That's cool. Uh, I went to the same school as… I actually have no idea if anybody famous came out of my school. <laughs> I have no clue. Me! I think I'm famous. Just there a you little go. bit. Um, 
that's that's pretty cool. Do you do you go back to Vancouver every often? Like, I, um, or do you have family here? Or? No, my family is immediate family is all in Vancouver. Uh-huh. I have all my relatives here, but I'm not super like close. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm the same way. Yeah. I have like forty something cousins, and I don't know their names. Well, I know their names, I but I feel really oh. bad. I just have too many. Like, I think I know them a little more now. But like, mm. for example, my Tuchikomo, she has five daughters and a son. And it's all like… Chisu, chi something, chi something, <laughs> chi something, chi something. And so I hear chi. I'm like, must be my cousin. <laughs> and that's how I know. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> Sarangyeo. Sorry. Um, so what was it… You know, you got to Korea. Obviously you… From what I hear, you joined a little bit later than yes. some of the other members. Mm-hmm. Um, what was that like? Uh, I was the last one to join. Mm-hmm. Um, and to be honest, uh, even doing K-pop star and becoming a trainee, all those choices were very like super… Should I do this? Should I not? Mm-hmm. Should I just go back to school? But I remember doing K-pop star, there was a fellow contestant. Mm-hmm. And she gave me the advice of… if Even if you have the smallest desire… To do mm-hmm. it, you should do it because you never know when you get can get the chance again. Right, right, right. So I just kind of took that and ran with it. Mm-hmm. Debuted. Yeah. Put my face next to Michael Bublé. I know. Yeah. Like, dang, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and your parents, they're they're supportive and yeah, that's cool. You know what? So much changes in a generation. My parents were awesome. I love <laughs> you so much, mom and dad. dad has I know they're listening, and I. Uh, my mom, my only thing that she keeps asking is she's like, can you please send video of you singing for church? And I was Aww. Like, okay. <laughs> she's been asking for three months and I haven't done it. I will <laughs> do it sometime know. soon. But it's a lot that goes into it because I know it's going to live on the internet. I know That's they're true. like, it's only going to be for church. I was like, yeah, but church is on the internet right now. <laughs> AKA, there's just going to be me singing in a in like a freaking like a bedroom somewhere by myself. <laughs> floating around the internet, which, you know. Anyways, <laughs> um, so who who did you get close to when you got to Korea? Obviously, you have your members, mm-hmm. um, but are there other people that you've gotten close to? That who do you hang out with? Who's your crew? Um, the first people I hung out with in Korea were the K-pop star contestants. Yeah. and uh, there's a guy named Martin. Uh, he goes by Cho Jang Gwan, or well, that's mm-hmm. that's his name. But uh, <laughs> he uh, he's part of a band. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They debuted as a band after K-pop star. What's the name of the band? It was called Oyster, but now it's nine zero zero one. So it's like cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not exactly sure how okay. to pronounce it, but I uh, got close with him. Um, yeah. Like I said, socially awkward, social butterfly. That's fine. Yeah. I'm the same way. <laughs> um, you know, auditioning and going through one of those programs. Like you may not have done the trainee process, but that process in itself is a different. Mm. Intense, yes, kind of thing. I think for <clears throat> me, this is just for me personally speaking. When I was trying to go through auditions, and when I was like, should I go on American Idol? Should I do this? Should I do YouTube? Like, part of me was always nervous. I was like, what if I get it? I don't know what I would do. Mm. Like, I think I would have had a freak out. And I, I think when you go into, it, you're like, okay, like we'll just figure it out, take it day by day, because I won't. It's not going to happen. But before I got into it, my mom too was like. You should never do it because if you do it, you're not going to go to school. You're not going to graduate mm. and blah, 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 blah. All these horrible things will happen. The world's going to fall apart. And I had that fear um, even going on to my show. Mm. Did you have any fear or any hesitation or reservation when you were making the decision to go on K-pop star or become a member of the boys? Like, right. What were your hesitations? To be honest, I just kind of YOLO'd it. Ah. Nice. Yeah. See, I wish I was like that. I like overthink everything. But I'm an overthinker too. Like yeah. I have like an inebriated spider spinning webs <laughs> in my brain 24-7. But with K-pop star, it was just kind of like… Why not? Let's mm. just do it. Uh-huh. And I think… I don't know. That, there was… I literally had no expectations. Uh-huh. And so I was kind of just going with the flow I guess. Right. But with uh, becoming a trainee, um, I've been warned about lots of sketchy companies. Right, right. And uh, I got to get uh, knowledge about like the sketchy world of K-pop. Mm-hmm. 
And so I was hesitant on that aspect. But yeah. Luckily I got into a solid company. Yeah. Yeah. And solid like, group. Solid company. Yeah. Doing cool things. Got a fellow member who would shave off his eyebrows. I know. Yeah. So, so good. you know, Jacob said that he would shave off his eyebrow for you to meet Beyonce. Yes. Is… I mean, what did you feel? How did you feel when you heard that? I shed a tear. A single solitary tear. Yes. Um, just just Can you right see down streak? the right, yeah. right cheek. Yes. Um, is <laughs> why Beyonce? Is she is she the one? Like, if you had any artist you could meet, any artist that you oh, could meet. Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Explain. Just kidding. I would be too nervous to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, who did you look up to musically? Who did you who did you, you know, um, idolize or who was your role model? Right. Um, I think my first exposure to music was mm-hmm. musicals. Oh. And so there's pictures of me floating around the interwebs uh, in a Aladdin costume. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. since then, I've just kind of dabbled in all genres. Uh-huh. But I think my biggest first uh, musical inspiration was Bruno Mars. Yeah. And then Beyonce. Mm. Yes. Favorite Bruno song and favorite Beyonce song? Favorite Bruno song? Gorilla. Okay. Okay. Favorite Beyonce song? You can't… It's like picking a favorite child. Look. Look. It's not my <laughs> child so it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go with… Uh, bigger. Okay. From the recent one. The Lion Lion King, what's it called? Blackest King. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it yet. It's beautiful. They're making you pay more for it. And I, I'm all about supporting content, but I don't want to subscribe to Disney Plus right now. But it's Beyonce. I know. <laughs> okay. Disney Plus, Beyonce. I will do it. I will do it because you recommended it. It's so good. Like really? oh start to beginning. I didn't even touch my phone. I just stood there and all. Really? Yeah, it's that good. All right. I will I will have to check it out by your recommendation. With that chef's kiss. I will text yes. you if I if I doubly chef kissed it <laughs> as well. Um, so what has it been like to… You know there's obviously other English speaking members of the group. But in the identity film Generation Z… You yes. called yourself a Y guy. Y guy. And I feel like you've alluded to the things going on inside your head quite a bit. Yes. Does that have any correlation? Why are you the Y guy? I overthink things. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I think of one thing, it leads to another, mm-hmm. and it leads to another, and it leads to another, and so I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Hence the why guy. Yeah. Um, this is a question from Eric. Actually, he said, yeah. Eric, your member. He said, "What do you think of when you go to bed?" I. <laughs> this is. I don't know if fans know. Uh, fans know this, but I suck at sleeping. Oh really? Uh, so I think about everything. Everything just comes. Oh, it's like, eh, don't sleep. You're not sleeping tonight. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, so you ha- you have a little bit of ins- insomnia, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it stress? Is it just anything? Like, I think it's everything. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes it's nervousness about the day after if mm-hmm. there's something big coming up, mm-hmm. and most of the times it's just, why did I do that? <laughs> why? Yeah. What's what's a recent why did I do that situation for you? Uh, oh, this is super random, but we did a V Live after Sori Bada yesterday. Uh-huh. And my I have a little thing where I go, can I get a hoya? Make a reference to to the vine. Um to the members and they would go, Hoya back. But all of a sudden, because I've been watching community re- recently. Uh-huh. Know community. Oh my gosh. Community is so good. But um all of a sudden I changed it to pop pop. So now the members are going to say pop pop. I lost Hoya forever now. Why did you do that? Why Kevin? Why? Why? <laughs> of all the things to do. These are the things that keep me up at night. You, you seem like, like the type that is… Socially awkward butterfly. Yes. But in the, in the sense of… You're incredibly kind and courteous. Which is why you are that way. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. But just from the very few conversations that I've had, you just seem like a very nice guy. And speaking as, I'm a nice guy, guys. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out there. But I have moments where I'm, I say something like, "Wait, why did I say that? Or why did I say it like that? Yeah. Why? What's going on in my head? Yes. And then I just go down this deep hole mm. of Alice in Wonderland of me spiraling down. And then I'm like, 
Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Do and we share a brain cell? We we might okay. share a single one brain cell. <laughs> um, so I feel you on that. Um, when it comes to music, so you say Bruno Mars, Beyonce, they've really inspired you. What do, is there a type of music that you want to do personally? Like, mm. of course, there's the boys, and that's a group. And I think a lot of idols, they've always had this thing of love what I do as a group, mm. but if I were to do a group project or a unit or a solo project, yeah. I want to do this. Is there anything that you really want to do or try? I want to do weird stuff. Mm. Like, what is weird to you? Somewhere between Billie Eilish mm. and Beyonce. Ooh, what is that gonna sound like? I got a what couple would that in sound? my on my phone. But, oh, uh, really? Have you been writing? Yeah. Okay. But the feedback I get, I keep getting is it's it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for the group, uh-huh. which I, I totally get. But um, in the future, like. Because I took sound production in high school. Oh, okay. And so I met a lot of interesting characters that uh, uh, dabbled in like <laughs> making their own synth sounds and stuff. Uh-huh. And you know like I didn't know recording the room was a thing until right. I met those people. So I just kind of want to take all of that and make weird stuff. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I hope you can make weird stuff soon. Thank you. At some point And <laughs> share it with the world so we Thank all feel you. weird together. <laughs> um… You know, uh, being in a massive group, right? Life isn't… I would imagine is not the easiest thing. Because you have so many people that you have to work with. And and do things with. Mm -hmm. Um, But what are some of like the fun parts to it? What are some of the cool aspects to it? I think being busy together and having tasks and achieving them together… Kind of helps me forget about missing family. Mm. And so most people think, you know, like in a normal working environment, you, you like vacations, you like resting. But it's in those times I get most sad mm. about not being with family. Mm-mm-mm. And so I guess, I don't know. They feel like family. Mm. Yeah, That's good. That's good. Um, we have some some questions from fans actually. Mm-hmm. One's from Jenna Claire. It says, uh, Coming from someone who still doesn't have a dream. How mm. did you realize yours to become a singer? <sighs> Any tips for finding a dream? Okay. Ooh. This is, sounds, this is like a perfect question for you. This is… We're gonna… Everybody buckle down. Get your, get your inflatable life vests on. I think we might be <sighs> going down the hole for this one. All How right. do you find a dream? How do you find a dream? Um, okay. Um, draw inspiration Uh from everything and see what strikes your heart the most. Ooh. Because like Uh I uh, I mentioned, (laughs) passive aggressive tiger parents, Uh they kind of let me do everything. Mm. I did like claymation. I did pottery. I did tap dance. Wow. I almost did figure skating, but I didn't. I did gymnastics. They let me do everything and I just got exposed to a bunch of different stuff. And I decided for myself, I like music. I like performing. Mm. And so that's how I became here. I came here. So I guess um, just expose yourself to try different things. Explore. Yeah. YOLO it. YOLO. Yeah. YOLO baby. Um, what did, If you don't want me asking and if you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to answer. But mm. what did your parents do? Uh, they… I actually moved to Canada because my dad was working for Nunopi. It's like a tutoring Oh academy. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah. so they wanted to start a… It was either a New York branch or a Vancouver branch. Okay. And they decided to go with the nature route. That's, I mean, healthier, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's why we moved to Vancouver. Okay. Education. Education. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, maybe like… I feel like actually all of your members… Well, the ones that I've met, yeah, your parents are very like, yeah, try it, do yeah. whatever, yeah, um, which is really cool. My parents were the same. <laughs> I love you, mom and dad. You said very sarcastically. No, no <laughs> sarcasm. No, my parents. I think my parents were like, no. Even when I was like, I want to try singing, they're like, okay, you will do opera. And I was like, oh, I took one lesson. I was like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> I, this is horrendous. Not for me. Uh, we'll play an instrument. They're like, oh, we decided for you. You're going to play the cello. I was like… Oh, I want to play cello. Really? Yes, I do. That thing is so big and heavy. Um, 
But it is a beautiful instrument. Yeah. But I think for me, like, I was uh, passive aggressively put into a lot of activities that mm. I did not necessarily want to do. My parents were very honest. Mm. I love soccer. I was the only freshman that made varsity for soccer. Oh, snap. I mean, I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm that bad. My parents were like, you're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh. They're like, you should stop. Your brothers are good. Your brothers should play. And they ended up playing for, for college. Mm. You should just go study and play the cello. And I was like, I hate both of it. But that was, you know. But I'm here. I, I, here I am. Here you, you know? are. So it's, it's all, it all worked out. Love you mom Gee, and dad. Gee. But that's why it's… For me, I think like my perception of like the Asian parent is so like… Do this. Mm. Do that. And only because that's my experience. Right. So when I hear other people's experiences of parents who are like… Go for it. Try the musical. Try this. Try that. I'm like… The world is changing. <laughs> the world is changing. The tiger parents are having their claws pulled out one by <laughs> one. Um, which I think is great because people get to… To try different things. Learn their best form of expression and passion. All mm. that kind of stuff. That's really cool. Um, Alright. I have another question from Twitter. When you're in a slump… Yes. Or you think you're a failure… What motivates you to get back on your feet? And how do you come back from that downfall? Why are all the deepest questions here? Am I… Am I mean I, you wanted oh, to study psychology so… True, true. You know? Any uh, words of encouragement? Uh, yeah. Uh, listen to music. To be honest… Black is King, Beyonce… Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been listening to the song Bigger… Which I mentioned earlier. Yeah. But the lyrics go, if you think you're insignificant, you better think again. Because mm. you're part of something way bigger. Wait. There's your motivation. Here's my thing. Okay. At this point, <laughs> I don't know this song yet. Mm. I feel like I need to hear it from you if that's possible. Could you sing just a little bit? I have a… I can't. Okay, that's fine. I, I won't touch Beyonce songs. I am not worthy. Look… I've done single <laughs> ladies in front of people before. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Alright. Um, so yes. For your motivation and encouragement… Go watch Beyonce's new album. Black is King. Black is King. Next and last question from fans. Question for Kevin. You mentioned in an interview with Billboard that your goal is in life is to maintain childlike wonder. Oh, I saw this one. Yeah. How yeah. have you been continuing that mindset during these difficult times? P.S. Love you. Um, First of all, what had you answer that way? Uh, I think the question was… Uh, what do you… Or something about imagining, imagining yourself in the future. Mm. And my kind of life motto is… Or just the word integrity. Mm -hmm. And like with kids, they see the most dullest, most… Um, what's the word? Mundane things. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Yeah, And… My goal in life is to just keep that and not take anything for granted. Uh -huh. I just remind myself to be thankful. Mm. And even in daily routines when things are repetitive, mm -hmm. things get mundane, th things get boring. Um, I remind myself that not everyone has access to the things I have. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I should be thankful. Yeah. Hence the twinkle in my eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I feel the same way. That's, I think that's very well put. I think it's… Being in these difficult times makes us appreciate what we have that's right. so much more. Yeah. What was mundane. What was everyday commonplace. We see new value mm. in what we have. And when you say like when we have access to certain cool things… Like yes. I think that's what, what Kevin means. It's… Uh, I think so many of us… Even just being healthy… Right? Having access to, you know… Water. Water. Like, I mean, just ha having access to be able to put music out. Like, there's so many things that before it was just like, Oh, this is work. Or, oh, this sucks. But mm -hmm. right now, it's like… You know what? There are so many things going on in the world. What we have, we should be very grateful for. We're yeah. very, very blessed. Mm. And I think that's… I think that is something that all of us probably feel right now. So… That is the question. There you go. To Lovebot. Q Lovebot. So we have some lightning round questions for okay. you here. Alright. 
B- before we go into them, is there anything that you wanted to discuss? Anything you want to discuss? I feel like so many times in interviews or whatever, yeah. people have like questions and blah, blah, blah. But like sometimes you're like, ah, oh, this could be fun. If you do. If you don't, that's fine. You did a cover of Bad Guy. I did. Solid. Good stuff. Thank you. A- applause. Thank you. It was amazing. But I just wanted to mention, did you know that Bad Guy was inspired by the theme song for Wizards of Waverly Place? I did not know that. The more you know, star with ring. That I had no <laughs> idea. But apparently she said it in, in an interview. Really? And yeah. Jimmy Fallon told Selena Gomez. And she was like, oh, that's cool. That's yeah. You know what? Like Billie Eilish is like this like dark queen of pop right now. Yes. But she… If you look at her, she's like the biggest Justin Bieber fan. Yes. She is like… Watch Wizards of Wizard… What, Wizard, what, 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 <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Wizards, Wizards of Wizard, say that They're that place. <laughs> um, I, I, I'll be honest. I never watched that show. Um, My heart. I watched… What did I watch? I watched some Boy Meets World. I watched… Fresh Prince. I watched Fresh Prince last night actually. Oh, did you know there's a remake coming out? I did. It's going to be dark. It looks good. I'm excited. I feel like it's always on TV. But I never really watched it. Relatable. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I started watching it last night. And as an adult, it also hits differently. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to go through it. Um, all to say, yeah. Billie Eilish is like this dark queen of pop. But she has like all these very innocent yeah. inspirations. But that I think, I think it's really cool. It all circles back to just exposing yourself. Like you yeah. mentioned earlier. Expose yourself to different things. You never know where, where it might go. I feel you. I feel you. A little self promo. I did a what cover you of what's the song called? <laughs> <laughs> bury a friend. A bury a friend. Okay, where okay. Kind of got to expose my darker my side. Weird stuff. Where what? Where can people find that? It's on YouTube. Okay, yeah. just type in Kevin Moon bury a friend. Just the boys bury a friend. The boys bury yeah. a friend. That sounds very mor- morbid. Yeah, the sounds, boys buried a friend. Sounds like an '80s horror. It's, horror yeah, <laughs> that's not it. It's it's uh it's a cover. <laughs> Of Kevin doing bury a friend. Yes. Um, okay. So lightning round. Just in case. All okay. right. Here we go. Favorite food. Uh, Hongotjim. Hongotjim. Yes. Really? Oh, so good. It's like soul food for me. Okay. Yes. Hongo is… Oh it's stingray right? It's, it's like skate. They call it skate. Skate. Yeah. So you're like, manta ray. Skin, stingray. Yeah. Something like that. Um, Jim is like a stew. Stew. Yeah. Right? First K-pop artist or group you ever stand. <gasps> oh boy. Ooh. 21. 21. Yes. The lollipop song. Lolly, lolly, oh my goodness. Everyone's lolly, carrying up the, lollipop. the phones. The I wanted lollipop. a freaking lollipop. Same. Yo. Lolly, lolly, lollipop. Oh no. Okay. Sorry guys. Um, singing or dancing? <laughs> um, why not both? All right. Yeah. Sure. Fair. Morning person or a night owl? Uh, both because I suck at sleeping. Oh yeah. 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 Um, favorite show to watch on Netflix? Blackest King is not on Netflix. It is not. <laughs> it is not on Netflix. Um, Umbrella Academy. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Good okay. stuff. All right. Um, favorite movie genre? Oof. Uh, uh, this is hard. I'm going to say… Keep it vague. Social. Social? Like it doesn't matter if it's like… Dark. Like Get Out. Or, uh-huh. or, 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 or like dramatic. Like Florida Project. Okay, so as like, long as it has like a like that indie like social commentary vibe. Yes, is that what you mean? Okay, there, there we go. go. Rice or noodles? Mm, noodles. Okay, I think I know the answer to this one. But favorite song to listen to the yes. I'm bigger. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> your fans are blank. Fans are the bomb.com. Okay, K-pop Tebak is the bomb.com. We are the bomb.com. Um and I think that's about all I have for you today. Like I feel like we covered a lot. We did. We went in We deep. went from your life to yeah. college to Beyonce yes. to to Bruno to Beyonce to yeah. Billy to Beyonce. Yes. And then we went to psychology. Yes. We went to a Fresh lot of Prince. Prince. Fresh Prince. Yeah. Anything else that we're missing? What are we missing? We are missing love in this world. <laughs> Let's… Love in this world. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Well, to wrap it up, I have a question mm. for you from Jacob. Oh, oh boy. I have two actually. Okay. 
What movie would be greatly improved as a musical? Okay. Oh, this is going to take me a while. What movie would be improved as a musical? I would love to see… Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Good question. <laughs> Parasite. I'm going to say… X-Men. What? X-Men. Which one? Origins. Origins. So like Wolverine's like… Ching 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 ching! I'm gonna stab you in the face. Qua! That sounds really cheesy. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, what movie? What, what movies have I watched? Uh, um, Parasite by Kevin Moon. <laughs> You must eat that chapaguri, chapaguri with the steak. <laughs> How dare you mute my mic, Diane? Oh man, let's go with. Uh, do you do you know Little Rascals? Yes. Why did actually? Let's. Yeah. That would be good. I would. That would watch be amazing. That. The like, Little Rascals musical. All kids cast. That would be fun. That would be really cute. Diane just put a stank face on, but no. <laughs> oh. You don't have to work with him. You just have to watch it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, last question from okay. Jacob. Is milk or cereal first? Uh, cereal first. Yeah. Obviously. We get this every, every single time we do a VLive. It's uh -huh. always… Is cereal soup? Is uh, a hot dog a sandwich? Cereal or milk? Yeah. Alright. Well, Kevin. Thank you so much for coming on this show. For it's been a pleasure getting to know you uh, and speak with you. Um, any message to our listeners all around the world? Anything you want to say? Anything you want to plug? Promote? Whatever. Go for it. Uh, Black is King. <laughs> <laughs> is great. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, wasn't kidding. But uh, thank you for uh, watching. Um, wherever you are in the world. Hope you are staying safe. Um, and in the future, the boys are going to come back with stuff. <laughs> we are always in preparation for our next big thing. So please look forward to that. And uh, yeah. Um, thank you again, Kevin, for joining us. If you guys enjoyed this podcast, please go ahead and subscribe to us on whatever platform you're listening to us on. Be it Apple, Google, Spotify, wherever. Subscribe it. If you're on Apple, please leave us a five-star rating and review. You can see video of this podcast and our conversations at youtube.com slash divepods and youtube.com slash dive. Studios. We also have TikToks where we do weird things. Don't we? We do. And we have a Patreon <laughs> where you guys can support us. So uh, thank you guys again for listening. Have a great week. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. And we'll see you next week on K-Pop Tampak. Goodbye! Sanitize everything inside. Yeah. Hey guys, did you guys like that video? Then make sure you guys subscribe to Dive Studios YouTube channel and put your notifications on because we got a lot more great content coming your way. Look at this video. See? Wow. Wow. And this and this is great too. Enjoy. <laughs>